Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Gatty Crypto here, and I've saved a good one for you folks for your Friday morning to get your day going with an oomph. And I feel like this one really stands out to me because I have history with Japan and things like that. So I really understand the the culture. The culture in Japan, and if you're from Japan, or you've spent time in Japan, you'll understand how strong culture is in that country. And when you've got people that are in the democracy sector of Japan outright stating things, it's really positive because these folks are the kings of mobile gaming. It's more or less where it was all invented. The majority of mobile games are made inside Japan and they're mostly played by people that spend a lot of time traveling to and from work. That's kind of how mobile games came around. You can go back and look at the history, but this video is not about that. Now, Japan, the reason why Japan is so important to crypto is because Japan has always managed to spur on the, the tech booms, right? PlayStation, Sony, Pokemon, all of the different products that have come out of Japan. So for these people to be getting involved, for this country to be getting involved, this is really, really positive from where I'm sitting for the whole crypto community, for the for everything, for our market cap. This is good. And the reason why it's good, I've highlighted a load of stuff in this um, article. This is a really good article, by the way, very well written, a lot of good information in there. So the person who is pretty much leading this, he, so in Japan, he's widely recognized as more or less an expert attorney in it, it's called corporate crisis management and he's done loads of other stuff to do with regulatory investigations he's had mass recalls on certain cars where they've got something wrong with the cars and he's managed to get all of these people's cars fixed you know he's one of these people that fight the good fight he's got morals the culture in japan is very strong like you'll understand if you've been there how strong the culture is and they are so deeply invested in their roots and their history and how they move forward things they're very humble they're very respectful and they do things correctly and this is kind of why I think you've not seen Pokemon NFTs yet and this article is really going to give us an insight as to when those could possibly be coming because believe me now they are coming and I'm going to be first in line to buy those NFTs let me tell you that much so Japan's ruling Liberal Democratic Party's Web3 project team has approved a white paper laying out recommendations for growing the country's industry, which has become part of the national strategy under Prime Minister Fumio Kishida's administration. So while other governments, like they're saying here, but we've been over this a lot, whilst other governments are simply just crushing crypto, trying to shut it down, trying to get rid of it, you've got Japan who's fully arms wide open, embracing it. And we're talking to begin with a $4 billion injection. So that's 600 billion yen. So the cryptocurrency industry has been driven by early adopters, but it will shift to mass adoption from now on, said the Secretary General of the party's Web3 project team. And that's the person I was just telling you about. This guy, I mean, you can look at his LinkedIn profile like I did. He seems to be the real deal. If one country can lead the push on this it's gonna change the game it's you know i remember when video games like being younger and my parents saying to me or other people's parents saying to you know my friends you know well you're not gonna be able to make a living from that when you're older and you know sony really changed up the world with their tech they led the game in market to start with they've really crushed it sony's still going now strong you know if anything, uh, this is going to cause some controversy. Let me know in the comment section. I'm neither nor because I'm a PC gamer when I do game if I have time to game. But are you Xbox or are you PlayStation? It seems PlayStation has the higher strength at the moment. Let me know in the comment section. So he's pointed out that major players in Japan have started to enter the market. Japanese mobile phone operator N NTT Dokomo pledged sorry if i've pronounced that or butchered it i'm very sorry it is early here in the morning bear with me pledged to invest up to 600 billion yen as i was saying and it's all going into the web3 infrastructure and a major financial institutions are looking to issue stable coins this is so important 
like so important because they might think to themselves, well, you know, we don't want to run in too many directions with the parachute. Let's all go in the same direction. So maybe we'll just deal with this. They might look into a, the DeFi sector for a possible stablecoin with USDC making its footprint into the cosmos soon. It brings all sorts of things into question. So they're also proposing further changes to their tax regulation, noting that one significant exemption for tax issuers has already been approved. Among these are having tax exclusions for companies holding tokens issued by other companies that are not going to be traded short term. So those tokens, if you manage to get in on those early, the likelihood is they're going to shoot up in value because they're not going to be traded short term. So it advises allowing self-assessment so that investors can carry over losses for three years and that crypto should be taxed only when assets are exchanged for fiat currency. Kind of similar to here in the UK. Great law because you shouldn't be charged on every single trade. I mean, the market's too volatile for that to happen. It, it just completely overrules it. So the white paper that they're going over, it does note that the screening process for tokens already in circulation is shortening. Okay, so they're doing screening processes for tokens already in circulation. This is insane. Okay, and I'm gonna, we're going to talk a little bit more. It's going to be a bit of a longer video this morning because um, it's probably going to be my only video that, of the day other than the podcast we've got booked. Don't miss that one. It's going to be great. L1 Development Team's Project Manager. So the white paper stresses the importance of readying the environment for stablecoin registration and then establishing a self-regulatory organization. It also mentions developing protocols for yen-backed stablecoins. This is so important for the whole crypto community. I've not read anything recently that's kind of like got me, you know, oh, oh, you know, this is really positive. This isn't just like a state or this is a country and this is a country that has led the charge in gaming, mobile gaming. So they've passed framework for regulating stable coins last year. This is insane. You know, they're already at a point where they can start marching in. Like he's saying, mass adoption, it's, it's here, it's coming. So large companies in Japan have shown interest in the Web3 industry. This is the bit why I mentioned Pokemon because it's a no-brainer if you were born in the 90s why have they not released Pokemon NFTs so on NFTs the white paper proposes public private partnerships to formulate guidelines on legal business models for fantasy sports services it also recommends the public and private sectors work together to sort out data and NFT rights and consider ways for content holders to legally license NFTs Oh, my brain. Just give me a squirtle. That's all I need. Just a squirtle. Ah. You know, it'd be good as if it came with... So they did a... If, you know, kind of going on a tandem here. Here he goes. Again, tandems in the morning, Jay. Um, they released a card called Special, Bel Special Delivery Badoof, And it's a Charizard carrying another Pokemon. And you got to choose what you paid for that card. But when they release cards like that, it got me thinking, you know, maybe they'll get to a point where they release the NFTs and you get a card delivered with it because they, you know, sent out hundreds of thousands of these cards and you literally got to pick your price. It was absolutely insane. And those cards are worth a pretty penny. Edit coming up right now. Cha ching So a Web3 minister should take charge of promoting policies and cooperation with other countries. According to the document, it says that Japan's digital agency will set up related consultation desks for local governments and business operators. <clears throat> this is the bit that's really got me very hopeful. It also proposes the issuance of crypto visas to skilled workers and expanding the startup visa system. So pretty much if you're involved in crypto and you know what you're going on about and you know how to work, you can do stuff, you could likely apply for a crypto visa to go and work in Japan. The likelihood is you'll get relaxed tax or something like they do with in the UK, if you come start a business up here, you'll get tax relief for, I think, three years. It may have changed. I may be wrong. I may be right. I don't know. Tandem. Let's keep going. So what I honestly think right now, and hear me out, just hear me out here, okay, early in the morning, I believe mobile games are the key 
metaverses are the key. Um, anything that's in the gaming sector is key to the LUNC blockchain. Bang the microphone there, have some of that. I think it's key. I think it's key because we have a bloody huge supply. It's, it's hugely inflated. It makes it perfect for games. This is why we need to support the current utility projects on the blockchain. Support Metagloria, support Exodus, support Lunar Burning Nights, even when times are tough, even when they're rolling through these different stages. You know, I'm sure all three of them are almost at a point where they are going to be going public. You know, they're pushing towards it. If not, they've got private builds where their early access players are able to go and play these builds. Exodus is supposed to go public soon. Metaglory is supposed to be launching at some point soon. There's good things coming for LUNC and we need to embrace this. This is why we need to get a stable coin sorted as soon as possible. We need to make ourselves look as appealing as we can to the Japanese market when they open these doors because when they open those doors, it's not just going to be $4 billion. It's going to be the whole country. It's going to be Nintendo, NFTs for everything. If you don't know how big the trading card market is globally, go and have a look. Go and do some research and just see how crazy it's going to go when Nintendo drop Pokemon NFTs. It's going to be insane. The likelihood is it's going to spur on a whole new trading game, whole new trading system where people are... Pokemon cards go for insane money. Random tandems. Podcast coming later today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this got your Friday off to a really good start. Enjoying your weekend. Same as me with mine. But this was something that I saw and I thought, this is something to be excited about. This is something we're looking at where it's not a government going, well, you know, we're just going to block banks. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. They're actually embracing it. They're meeting in the middle and they're saying, well, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. And we're going to do this to attract... You're seeing all the right things. That's why everything's marked in green and no red on here. I'm going to leave a link to this article. Stay safe, stay humble, stay aware. Beware of my squeaky chair. Definitely need to get a new one. Links to everything in the description for our group chats. For the node, if you want to delegate with us to support our cause here at HCC. Folks, catch you in the podcast. Don't be late. And yeah, none of this is financial advice. Catch you in the next one. Ciao.